All right, good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Panama City. I'm Bob. Um, this morning, it's Saturday, November the 18th. Um, we are going to stay in the bay today. I went offshore and um, got about, I don't know, maybe a mile out. And um, it's, just, it's just ugly out there. It's difficult to run. Um, the waves are just constant and just all over the place. So um, we're going to stay here and um, inshore and just see what we can catch. Here in my face. Um, right now I'm pulling up onto the um, sailboat wreck over here in St. Andrews. That's St. Andrews State Park right there behind me. It's the same place that we stopped yesterday and, and or started yesterday and uh, we were able to catch that um, really nice keeper red snapper and that uh, really nice gag grouper which was out of season caught some red red grouper um, so we're going to just pull up over here and and fish for a few minutes and we'll probably just bounce around a lot of places today and um, just see what we can catch the wind this morning is out of the i don't know kind of north northwest um, not terribly cold but it's very cool probably in the mid 60s 64 65 somewhere in there um, water temperature this morning is 66 almost 66 and a half and we do have an outgoing tide and the tide seems to be it looks like it's running pretty hard of course that could be a it could be that it's assisted by that um, north wind. What they were calling for for wind today was 10 to 15. But, um, I think they were being a little generous. So we're just going to go fishing. See what we can catch. Oh. Let me break off. That's a white grunt. Or Key West grunt. Or Kiwi. Good eating fish. Oops. That is a baby Goliath grouper. And I may be insulting him by calling him a baby. But that's a little Goliath. Real pretty fish. See the round tail fin? Oh, he's got a black dot on him. This is actually a Nassau grouper. See the black dot on his tail right there? Apparently there's no season for them. Nice little gag.
Give me keeper. It's a nice little tag. He's almost 23. He'd be close to a keeper, but still not. If they were in season, anyway. Alright, well, I'm going to go see if I can find something besides grouper that are biting. I like to catch the grouper. But um, it's either small fish or those grouper that are biting here. So we'll move and try someplace else. There seems to be some smaller red snapper here. In January, they'll be in season. There's a keeper. There's a keeper red snapper. I 
not very small when you're there. Second keeper, red snapper. <clears throat> it's probably close to 23 inches, which I can see. Real nice red snapper. He's 22 inches. A real nice red snapper. He straightened my hook out. So, gotta put a new hook on this one. So, this isn't some place that I planned on stopping to fish. Um, I was actually gonna go pick up my wife, and she texted me and said she would be another hour or so. So, I came over here and just fell off. I hadn't fished over here in a while. So, I'll try it and wait, wait on her. And he caught a real nice red snapper. And a small red snapper. And that uh, mangrove snapper. <clears throat> and he's fat. He's been eating my bait. Like a red snapper. I'm using a three quarter ounce swing jig with a five watt. Yeah, I must have demon perfect circle. Just same same jig I use um, for triggers and V liners and stuff like that, just with a bigger hook. There's big boats running by me. I don't use shrimp for bait a whole lot. But these were left over from um, the trip I had yesterday. So I'm using them. I don't have enough of them to more freezing them so I'll just use the last I don't know it's probably half a dozen or so maybe a little bit more bunch of little red snacks And I'll tell you what the bottom looks like. So that's all bait and fish. And there is a little bit of structure down there. Um, some hard bottom, rock or something, I don't know. But those are all fish. Now I don't see it with quite that many fish on a regular basis. But um, they're there today. Fish. 
Yeah, look at that. That's your window. It's a nice um, main road. It's a real nice main road right there. He's right at 12 inches. That's a, a really nice mangrove for here in the bay. All right, I'm going to call it a day. It's um, been a nice day. Um, pretty successful, too. We started off the morning catching um, grouper. I caught um, several grouper. I caught a 20-inch gag, so it wasn't quite big enough. I caught several small gags, some small red snapper. Uh, caught that one Nassau grouper. Um, I've got a limit of red snapper. I've got two good keeper red snapper. Caught several small red snapper, caught some mangroves, could have kept them. Um, it's been a pretty decent day. Been breezy all day. It was chilly this morning, but not terribly cold. But um, it's been a nice day. Um, water temperature this morning was 66.3 when I put in, and now it's 66.5. So the water temperature did not come up much. And we've had sun, but a lot of clouds too. But I um, appreciate you joining me, watching the video. Um, I hope you learned something. Um, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell if you want to get notified when I release new videos. I will be out here next weekend is uh, Thanksgiving, and um, I've got family coming to go fishing at least part of the time. Um, they're calling for some fairly cold temperatures lows in the 40s and highs in the low 60s which is pretty cold for us this time of the year but we, it happens every thanksgiving i mean last thanksgiving it was the same way um it'll probably be windy too but um i'll be out here i'll um this video will come out probably just before thanksgiving um, so um, happy thanksgiving and i'll see you next time